Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is an edit which is showing how you can use multiple uh, of the colour models to work with editing. If you haven't got this already, it should be models version 2 or above, then go to the link below and it'll show you to the video where you can download and how to do it and so on. OK, let's start off. And start off, we'll, we'll go to the 3M dominance gaps, which looks at the gaps in value between the maximum, middle and minimum of the um, red, green and blue. But it shows as a black and white map. So I got this one, which is the maximum minus min minimum. It doesn't show anything particularly jumping out there. Middle bounce minimum. Oh, look, look at this one here. This is definitely standing out here, isn't it? And the third one, um, a bit, but not as much. The middle one there is interesting. So I'm going to drag this one out here and go back to the model and just delete it. So I've just taken out this one. Now, what can I do here? And is a very simple thing to do is to go down and look for blend modes. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, colour dodge. So the way that's brought this out, see before and after, very simply, very quickly, very easily. So I can turn that off for a moment so I can go back to the original. And I go for the hue, saturation and luminance. And in particular, what I want to do with this is and to use it to bring out the brickwork and the just the red in the image. So open up the bits there and just go to the hue and alt click that so I can just see that. Yeah, there you go. There's the reds. We can bring that out. We'll just yank that out down to the bottom again here. Now let's put up the top. There we go. So we can see it there. We'll delete the rest of it and we'll go to that, that hue layer there. It's already on a blend mode. So we'll take that back up to normal for the moment because I want to isolate here just the reds. So what I'm going to do with that is go to the channels tab and where it says hue red, green and blue there because hue is the name of the layer. I just right click the green, say clear, right click the blue, say clear and there's my reds. And what I'm going to do with this is, you know, I can go to here, I can paint away anything I don't want here already in red, but I'm going to leave that there for now. And that's fairly strong, so I'm going to look for a a reasonable, you know, one which gets the detail and the texture coming through. So I can go to soft light, that's a gentle one. And also turn the opacity, actually start from the bottom and turn it up until it is just about where I want it. There, that's that one. So what else can we do now? I'm just going to turn that one, turn the, that one on there. So I've got these two here that's kind of kind of interesting that's okay i'm quite enjoying this let's take those two off again go back to the background and i'm going to go to the rgb plus w and the reason i want that is i know what i want here i just want the white layer which i'm going to take out put this above rgb plus w and delete that you could try the cmyk black layer but i'm Often the white layer I found for this works quite well. So I've got this here and now I'm going to go to filters, detect and detect edges, which can pull out the edges. This does usually works very well for architecture. It's the wrong way around, so control I to invert it. And now I've got this whole thing here with some lines. It's effectively like sharpening, but it emphasizes edges. And a very simple way to work on this as well. Go to filters, colors, and just erase white paper. I could do some masking and blending, but this works just fine. And there you go. See, it's already, it's put outlines around things. You can zoom in close to this and see how strong or whatever is. That's a bit much. You can usually bring this down to something that's a bit more reasonable. So somewhere around 50% is, is good. So control zero, take that out again, put back the hue and the middle there, and there you go. So from, that's the original, we added the bright 
of the that sculpture, reddened up the bricks, and added a little bit of dark line sharpening. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.